There are certain fighters in the UFC who have achieved so much in their careers where many would think that they would have great mixed martial arts records but that is not the case. So here is 5 fighters who you would think would have better records. Number 5 Jorge Masvidal is the number 4th ranked welterweight in the UFC who holds a professional mixed martial arts record of 32 wins and 12 losses. Many would think that Jorge Masvidal's record would be a lot better as he has defeated the likes of Donald Cerrone but majority of his losses have come by split decision where the decision could have gone his way. He has always stepped up and faced the toughest competition but has ended up short due to the judges decisions. He is a well rounded fighter who possesses the tools to defeat any welterweight at any given day and he also has the potential to hold the UFC welterweight title one Day. He last lost to Damien Meyer by a split decision at UFC 211. Number 4 Robbie Lawler is the number 3 ranked welterweight in the UFC who holds a professional mixed martial arts record of 27 wins, 11 losses and 1 no contest. Many would think that Robbie Lawler's record would be a lot better as he has victories against well known fighters. Since his return in the UFC in 2013 he re-emerged as a totally different fighter where he dominantly defeated all of his opponents and was able to win the UFC welterweight title. His violent fighting style instantly made him into a fan favourite fighter where he would go on and successfully defend his title against Rory McDonald and Carlos Condé. Since his return, he has looked like a totally different fighter with a different state of mind where he has shown that he is certainly one of the elite welterweights in the world. He last lost his title to Tyron Woodley by knockout in the first round at UFC 201. Number 3 Nate Diaz is the number 6th ranked lightweight in the UFC who holds a professional mixed martial arts record of 19 wins and 11 losses. With his win over Conor McGregor at UFC 196, many would believe that Nate Diaz would have a better record. Since winning the Ultimate Fighter Season 5, he has faced nothing but the best fighters on the planet and has come up short in many key fights. He has always been able to pick himself back up and has continued fighting where he has even challenged for the UFC lightweight title. He is a world class athlete who can make it a bad night for any fighter on any given date. He last lost to Conor McGregor by a majority decision at UFC 202. Number 2 Mark Hunt is the number 6th ranked heavyweight in the UFC who holds a professional mixed martial arts record of 13 wins, 11 losses, 1 no contest and 1 draw. Many would think that Mark Hunt's record would be top notch as he has victories over the best heavyweights in the world. When transitioning from kickboxing to MMA, he had just jumped into the shark tank right away with lack of experience in the grappling department. His first losses came from top fighters such as Josh Barnett, Fedor Milinenko, Alistair Overeem, Melvin Manhoff and Gegard Mousasi. When coming to the UFC, he made massive adjustments where he was able to use his nuclear power in both hands and put together a string of knockout victories. He was able to finish majority of the top heavyweights with ease where he became a well known name in the UFC heavyweight division. He last defeated Derek Lewis by TKO in the 4th round at UFC Final 110. Number 1 BJ Penn is a former UFC lightweight and welterweight champion who holds a professional mixed martial arts record of 16 wins, 12 losses and 2 draws. For a fighter who has won gold in both the UFC welterweight and lightweight divisions, many would think that BJ Penn would have more wins than losses. BJ Penn has fought in multiple divisions from featherweight to as high as 191 pounds. He has faced the best competition in his mixed martial arts career but has lost many close decisions. In recent years, BJ Penn has slowed down and doesn't seem like the same fighter he once was. He is on a 5 fight losing streak and last loss to Dennis Eva by a majority decision at UFC Final 112.